So actor John Schneider, who played Bo Duke on the Dukes of Hazard, put out a tweet about Joe Biden that raised quite a few eyebrows. As a matter of fact, it raised so many eyebrows, he's now being investigated by the Secret Service. But he said this in response to a Joe Biden tweet. He said, Mr. President, I believe you are guilty of treason and should be publicly hung. Your son, too. Your response? Sincerely, John Schneider. Now, he quickly deleted this tweet, but a lot of folks screenshotted it, and when the story started breaking, saying, hey, John Schneider just called for the execution of the president, John Schneider just called for violence against Joe Biden, uh, he came out with this statement and said this, seriously, folks, this is my final comment on this one. I neither said nor implied any such thing. Yeah, you did there, Bo. Despite headlines claiming otherwise, I absolutely did not call for an act of violence or threaten the U.S. president or many, as many other celebrities have done in the past. I suggest you reread my actual post and pay attention to the words before believing in this nonsense. He gave your typical MAGA bullshit response. He said it. Then he said, I didn't say it. You misunderstood. The media is distorting this. He blamed it on the media and suggested that we go back and reread. Bo Duke tried to gaslight us just like every other MAGA Republican. So this is the moment where I would love to hold Bo Duke's feet to the fire. And this is why I would give anything to be able to sit across from him and talk with him one-on-one. -on -one. As a person born and bred right here in the South versus someone who wasn't but yet exploited our culture for years to make a living off of it, and I've made videos on that. Go check them out. But I would love to ask him, okay, so do you stand by what you said? Do you really believe that he should be? Do you really believe that his son Hunter should be? You believe that's the punishment they should face? Tell us the truth there, Bo Duke. Do you, is that what you really believe? And give us evidence, actual, concrete, credible evidence, lay it right in front of us as to how Joe Biden is guilty of treason. Do it. Take all the time you need. We'll listen. Because, see, that's what we do. We hold our own side accountable. You guys remember back when Kathy Griffin took the head of Donald Trump? I was never a, a fan of Kathy Griffin, okay? Never enjoyed her comedy. And I really thought that was kind of tacky. She got held accountable, not just from MAGA Republicans, but from her own side, too. Her whole career pretty much ended that day. But people will rally around old Bo Duke. They will rally around him and they will praise him and then they'll say, well, now he didn't really say that. You all got it wrong. You believe everything the media tells you. No, we know that there's a whole lot of people out there that have bought into the MAGA bullshit. And we know that there's a whole lot of people out there that will sit and listen to these celebrities say these things and will pounce on every word. So to Bo Duke, I would say this. Be careful what you say in the future because you've got a bunch of brainwashed idiots listening to you and hanging on every word. They listened and they hung on every word of Donald Trump. And they listened to every lie he spread, every piece of misinformation he spread, until they went to the Capitol and chanted, hang Mike Pence. So when you say that the President of the United States, that that's what should happen to him, you don't think there's an audience out there that would be all for doing it? You don't think you could potentially incite those people to further violence? Right now, everybody's saying, well, Donald Trump hasn't been found guilty of insurrection. He's not been found guilty of rebellion. Well, courts have determined otherwise, and we're seeing right here in real time that they're continuing to rebel. They are continuing to double down on their rhetoric. We have to hold these people accountable. Had that been anyone else that made that tweet, I promise you, your ass will be sitting in a jail cell right now. And if you were a celebrity or, or anybody out there that said, said such words about Donald Trump, MAGA would be in the streets calling for your head. So yeah, I've, I've done videos before on how John Schneider exploited Southern culture and bastardized everything that I was ever taught to believe in. You can check those videos out here on my channel. I'm not going to rehash it. But I'm not at all shocked that he said it. But hey, you know, lean into it, Bo. Just lean into who you are. Okay, just just own it at this point, because you're not Marlon Brando and you never was. Okay, you're you're never you're never going to be the Robert De Niro level of actor that, that that's out there. Okay, in, in your on your on your best day, the Dukes of Hazard was where you peaked. Okay, that that was your peak, and after that, that Night of the Twisters movie and all these ridiculous right wing propaganda movies that you've made, I've still had people want me to watch that one he made about 
I don't remember the damn name of it. It's just the one where he's he's mad because kids are taking a knee. And I, I've been meaning to watch that so I could give it a review. But, folks, do you really want to do that to old Brando? Do you really want to put me through that shit? Watching him bastardize a redneck was bad enough. But anyway, yeah. I think Roscoe needs to go lock up his Duke boys once and for all. I think, and go back and find the video where I said how I would have booked the ending of the Dukes of Hazard. Because, uh, yeah, um, that's, it's ridiculous that this is where we're at, that people are allowed to just say these kind of things and they'll be praised for it. And you watch and see. Somebody will invite his ass to the State of the Union address, just like they did Ted Nugent. Back when Ted Nugent said, I'll be dead or in jail if Obama's reelected, they invited him to the, to the State of the Union address. You mark my words, old, old John Schneider will have a front row seat sitting there smirking at him. Because that's just how low down MAGA is. And, you know, I sometimes wonder about things. I wonder about my, my grandfathers. They were both Republicans, lifelong Republicans. I'll say two things about it. First of all, the MAGA Republican is not my grandfather's Republican. I know that for a fact. Second of all, if my grandfathers did believe in this bullshit, I'd say, fuck you, Papa, you're both wrong. 